Hey there folks and welcome back to Space Engineer Survival Season 2. So, what are we going to be doing this episode? So the suggestion we're going to be taking for this episode is by Riley Benson and he said we should fix the hangar door on the Titan, which is a ship we haven't actually been to in a while. And there is a hangar door on it, but because it, it was made a long time ago, probably even before rotors were in the game, Actually, I don't know. Rotors might have been in the game, but they don't have actual rotors on it. So what we're going to do is we are going to um, actually put a rotor on the door, and we're going to change the door to a blast door. Actually, let's use the welding ship to speed this thing up. And then he said maybe we could go exploring with it. I honestly don't know what there is to explore, but uh, why not? We'll go on a little adventure. I mean, there's all those asteroids you see off in the distance. You can't actually reach. They're just a wallpaper plastered on the background. But there are a couple of asteroids I don't think we've been to quite yet, so... Let's go in here and see what do we have in here. Do we have enough to make our stuff? No, we don't. Oh no, 1600 metal plates might be enough. We'll see. Alright, so let's go over to our Titan. Actually, I want to see if I can get this thing working the way it's supposed to. A couple of patches back, whenever I tried to disconnect the merge block, it would crash the game. But I don't think that's the case anymore, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to disconnect that merge block and use the space tug like this thing was intended for. Alright. Let's go over here, we'll disconnect this guy. Go to the control panel. Merge block two off. There we go. And now we need to go up here. And we're gonna have to turn our merge block back on, and then we'll connect with our space tug, or our welding ship rather. All right. Oop. Let's go and go to the control panel. Merge block on. No share. Transfer to me. Okay, good. Everything is the way it's supposed to be. Gently now. And success. Now we need to go here. We'll grab the welders, put them there. And now we can reach the Titan with lightning speed. Well, more than more speed than we had before at least because we are on this big old space tug all right and I think we have some other stuff over here that we haven't dealt with in a while hope my guns don't shoot at me because I haven't been over here in quite some time okay good all is well. Now we need to find where is the hangar door on this thing? It's right there. The first thing we're going to need to do is we're going to need to grind it away and we're going to use the blast doors in place of it. Because right there is where you would put a rotor if you wanted one. But what we're actually going to do is we're going to completely redo this. And luckily we have super grinding speed. And these aren't heavy armor blocks, so it doesn't take long at all. There we go. And then we'll have to figure out what we actually want to put in here. We'll see if our big old grinding or mining ship fits in here. I doubt that it will, but you never know. Actually, I think there are doors on either side, so we can do both of those. And if, even if we don't have enough parts with us, we won't actually have to go back to the Ripsaw because this has an assembler and a refinery on board. So that is quite useful. Alright, almost done. Just a couple more blocks to grind. Oh, maybe more than a couple. And just this last row right here. And we'll have to put all of the armor plates back in the welder. Uh-oh. 
<laughs> Speaking of which, let's do that right now because we're full. And we don't want to be dropping anything. Alright, let's just throw this all in the cargo container. Let it distribute however it wants. Actually, we have enough on us that I don't think we'll need to make anything. Alright, there we go. And let's just finish grinding this away. That is a pretty small landing deck, but we'll see what can fit. Maybe our little scout craft, our battery operated scout craft that we made might be able to fit. Alright, there we go. Now that the door is gone, we can fit a new door in. How about we put the door... Let's see here, we're going to want a rotor, so let's get that out. Put that there. And we want the blast doors, all types. Corner. I don't think we're going to need the inverted corner blast door, but we will need the rest of them. And let's rotate this correctly. Oh, there we go. Hmm. I honestly don't think that's going to work, because when this rotates, it's going to knock into this wall over here. And there's a engine right here, so maybe we're going to move it back one. Yeah, there we go. And we need construction components and all sorts of stuff that we have inside our welder ship. That's actually going to be a hard spot to get to. I'm not sure if our welder ship's going to be able to make it. Anyhow, let's continue on. There we go. And how far do we need? We need... Actually, that's as far as we need to go. We can go one further, though, so let's do that. Oh, maybe we can't. Actually, if we use a corner block, we might be able to. Nope, we'd have to destroy these or change the offset on the rotor. However, I do like the idea of... Hmm. Now let's just change the offset on the rotor when we're done. Now we just use the regular blast door. Do I not have any seal plate on me? I have plenty. There we go. For some reason it didn't want to place. There we go. That's why. And one more. Nope, two more. And actually, you know what? We can, let's see here, if I can rotate this correctly, that's what I want to do. Or is it? Okay, so what I want to do is I kind of want to make it butt up against this, kind of have a lip going that way. So maybe if I just use these regular blocks, I can do that. Can I? It doesn't want me to. If I rotate them. Nope. Okay, so we're going to have to figure out something for that. Or, even better yet, I'll just do this. If I can rotate it, there we go. That's what I want. And that's all we need to do. Make a nice tight seal. One more going there. And that should be good. And can we... Maybe if we just rotate this block correctly. I think I tried this already, didn't we? Yeah. So we're going to have to offset the rotor a little bit. But anyhow, let's get to our welding ship, wherever it disappeared to. There it is. And let's get to finishing this. Let's change our view so we don't accidentally run into it. Because I'm prone to doing that. And getting closer, closer, closer. Apparently not close enough. Well, it, <laughs> it really does not want to be welding right now. 
It's really bizarre. I have stuff in my welders, don't I? Welder 5, 6, medium carbon container. Well, maybe let's throw these in the welders. That could be the issue. Let's see. Nope. That is really weird. I've been having issues with this game for a while now. Why, oh why, are you not welding? Hmm? Weld, please. Pushing right up against it. And there is stuff in the welders. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Alright, well that's an issue. I guess I'm not going to be using the welding ship for a while. Or maybe if we just unmerge it, because I know it was working when it was not merged together, so... Turn on the merge block, turn them off. There we go. Maybe this will work. Alright. Yeah, it's working now. That's bizarre. Oh well. Yeah, at least our welding ship still does work. And quite well, I might add. Nope, did we run out of stuff? I think we might have. I think we may have run out of materials. Make sure we still have... Yeah, we ran out. Well, we can do something about that. Also, what does it take to finish this? Because I think we have all the steel plates we require. Yeah, we just need construction components, large steel tubes, motors, and computers. Alright. Let's go finish that so we can change the offset and we can finish this thing. So we need a couple of these. A couple of these. A couple of these. And a couple computers. Right, now we can finish this. Alright. That's interesting you have to finish the rotor part separately, but eh, whatever. Now let's go into our ship and start assembling stuff. Right, where is our assembler? Here's an assembler. Production. We want to make a whole bunch of these. There we go. Go into the inventory. Where this is what we want. Assembler 2 isn't making anything. Assembler 2. There we go. Oh, there's nothing in the Assembler 2. Well, that would be why. Whoop. Now, where, oh, where do we need to go? I think it's over here. Nope. Not quite where we needed to go, but it'll work. I'm just trying to get to the other Assembler right now. Alright, where is it? It's over here. Yoink those. And it, well, let's in the meantime let's make it have a whole bunch under production. And the way we do that is just <laughs> there you go. It'll make them until it's out of iron. And now we need to go back over here by the hangar door that we're making. We can finish this. Change the rotor offset. Oh, large steel tubes. Need uh, three more of those. Which we have in here. Or, I guess we'll just take 94. Whoops. All 
All right, now we need to go find a control panel so we can change the offset on this. And there should be one around here somewhere. There it is. Control panel, rotor, rotor displacement. How about zero? Or as close to zero as we can get. One millimeter, I guess we'll do. Yep, that should be good. All right. Change this. Whoop, not the right block. We want this block. Actually, if we go to negative displacement, that should definitely give us enough room. So that's what we're going to do. Because it doesn't seem we have enough room right now. Rotor 2. Rotor displacement, negative 10. Hopefully that'll do it. Nope, still doesn't. So, hmm, how are we going to solve this issue? I know. There we go. It's not ideal, but it will do the trick. How many do these take? Oh my god, they take a whole ton of steel. No wonder we ran out. No wonder indeed. So let's go back up to the top, see how much steel has been made. We'll throw that in our welder, and we'll continue making our ship. Private sail off there. Eh, don't need it. Oh god, that's enough to make like two blocks. There, we'll throw these in here so we have some room. There we go. In fact, I'm just going to do a little short jump cut until we have enough steel plates to make this thing. So see you guys in a bit. All right, we should have enough steel plates now. I think we have close to three and a half thousand, which should be more than enough to finish this. So let's quick go finish this, and then we will we will configure our blast door so that it can open and close, and then we'll go exploring. Also, we never took our battery-powered, solar-powered scout craft out for a drive, so we're going to do that this episode as well. And it's been charging for about 15 minutes, which is about about as long as it needs to charge. So that should be more than enough time. More than enough indeed. Alright. The reason I'm not using the welding ship right now is these are kind of hard to reach welding spots. And there's only a couple of them. But for the rest of the door, we will use the welding ship. Alright. And then we're going to see if we can fit these craft inside of here while we go exploring for a little bit. I don't know if well, yeah, we ran out. So I guess we're going to be using this for the rest of it. Yep, there we go. Nice and quick. Done. I just need to finish, what is it, a couple of these down here, and then we're going to be done. Yep, two. That's all we need. Nice and gentle. Yeah. There we go. Done. Alright. That was not as painless as I thought it would be. Oh, and I forgot the top ones. Of course. I think we should have enough for those, though. No? Yes. Yep, there we go. It might take a while, though. Because not all six welders can be at work right now. Yeah. Gonna have enough for all of them? Yes, we will. Awesome. Okay. Whoop. No, I don't want to crash into that. All right. Now let's take a look. That should be far enough out of the way. So where is our zero marker? There's zero. We need to 
change it so it rotates to... What is it? We don't want to rotate it to 90. We want to ro rotate it to 180. We actually, yeah, we want to go from 0 to 180 in a reverse direction. Otherwise, it will start slamming into there, which would not be good. So 0 to 180 in a reverse direction. Rotor. Braking torque. We'll give it a little bit of braking torque. Lower limit is going to be 0. And if you're wondering how I bring up this menu, it's just control clicking. Upper limit is going to be 180. 180. Confirm. And we are going to do a velocity, a negative velocity. Hopefully that works. Hmm. Maybe I need to give it some more torque or something. I don't even know if I turned it on, so that might be an issue too. Nope, it's on. You want lower limit that. Reverse. Yep, there we go. No, it's stuck at 4, so that means it's not correct. Or maybe if we do the lower limit of 180. Upper limit of... Whoop. What did I do? Upper limit of 0. Lower limit of 180. Doesn't... Nope, doesn't want to work. Well, the current angle is 100. Oh god, what did it do? See, that's that's what I was afraid of. Ow. Um, control panel. Rotor. Rotor's off. Okay, good. <laughs> well, that was cool. I'm going to be back in a little bit with <laughs> where this is all fixed. So see you guys back in a little bit. Well, despite my best efforts, I can't get these things to rotate counterclockwise, and they keep on breaking off no matter what I do, so... Yeah, I think we're gonna have to come back to that one, and... I'm gonna have to figure out how I can get these things to rotate properly. And in the meantime... Sorry this one didn't really work out as well as we had hoped, but... <laughs> as a constellation prize... <laughs> there's a gaping hole in my ship. Um, no, but as a constellation prize we're going to actually take out that ship that we built last episode and we're actually gonna take it for a run we're gonna go exploring with it until it runs out of battery or something I don't know we'll have fun with it because this episode has been quite tedious and annoying for me so let's have some fun shall we it would be really nice if you could just you know tell it to rotate counterclockwise instead of clockwise that would make my life so much easier. Ooh, what's that floating off for? Is this not on? Nope, it's not. <laughs> that could have been bad. I could have lost this thing. Um, speaking of bad, there's no uranium in it. So let's go shove some uranium in that. <laughs> Alright. Running out of uranium pretty much everywhere. That's not good. Take another five out of here. Okay, where was that one again? It was underneath my ship, I think. Alright, here we go. We'll drop this in our reactor. Wherever it is. I know we have a reactor on here somewhere. There it is. And there we go. 
You know, we need to turn this bad boy on again so it doesn't drift off into space. There we go. Okay, now let's have some fun with that battery-powered crap that we made. It should be more than charged. So we'll go here. We'll go in here, we'll turn the merge block off. Or no, connector, I'm sorry. Connector off. All right. Come on, let me go. All right, now, now that our thing is done recharging, we can now go have fun with our new ship. So, how much power do we have? We have, <laughs> eh, we have a decent amount of power. Forty-nine minutes. That's not bad. Let's go exploring with this thing. This thing's nice and quick. Holy crap. Let's go into a first person view. Oh yeah. Pretty asteroids. Nothing nothing too interesting in these. Well, let's take a look at this one. This one's an odd C shape. Some uranium well, nope, not uranium. We've got some gold and some iron. Ooh, there's a tunnel system in this one. Some what looks to be cobalt. There's the uranium. Turn our lights on. There we go. I don't know if we're going to be able to fit. Eh. Yeah, we can fit. Eh, nothing too interesting in it, though. Alright. Let's go. Ooh, haven't seen this asteroid before. Let's take a look. Anything on it? You know, I've been playing this world for so long and I haven't actually visited all the asteroids yet. Ooh. Mm, business shipment. Eh, don't need to look at it. They're all the same. Alright. Eh, nothing here. No cool tunnel systems to investigate. Ooh, this one does, though. You can see the tunnels from all the way over here. Right next to our rave cave and our main base. I don't think we've even looked at it yet. Oh, well, maybe we have. Ooh. This looks interesting. What could be in here, I wonder? Uh Huh? Interesting. Never been in here before. Going splunking with a scout craft. Why not? Um, this might be a bad idea. I'll probably get lost. Won't be able to find my way back out. Ooh, gold. Nope, oh, that's a dead end over there. Well, this would be an interesting place to make a secret hidden base or something. Indeed it would. Well, maybe that's something for another episode. Just curious. Oh, oh wow, we actually have plenty of room. I thought we were pretty tight in here, but I guess not. Alright. Well, that's cool. I wonder what's in this one. More iron. Another interesting cave system in here. Got some magnesium, which we could use for making explosives and whatnot. Hmm. <laughs> I don't want to go too far in here without a drill, otherwise I will get lost. Oh, crap. I think this was the way I went in. Speaking of getting lost... <laughs> Oh, there we go. That's the way we got in. Yep. Ooh. Oh, I got myself worried for a bit there. Well, that's pretty cool. 
Well, there we go. We did some exploring. We <laughs> we didn't really finish the hang. Well, we did finish the hangar doors. Just we couldn't figure out how to configure it properly because they wouldn't want to go counterclockwise. Tried everything. Tried putting it in reverse. Tried doing all sorts of permutations of zero to one eight or zero to two seventy and two seventy to zero because those are the actual numbers that we needed. But no such luck. Maybe next time. Or if I put the rotor on upside down, maybe that would help. I don't know. If you guys have suggestions, make sure to leave them in the comment section below. And as always, if you have something that you want me to do next episode, feel free to let me know. I think that'll be it for this episode. Thank you folks for watching. I will see you guys next time. Ooh, what's this?